Hey everyone, my name is Felicia Nicole and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be talking to you about my own experience with obtaining a master's in clinical psychology fully online versus obtaining my master's in business administration at a traditional brick and mortar school. So I started my master's in clinical psych program through Capella University in 2015, and I graduated in 2018. Now I started my MBA journey August of 2020, and I will hopefully be graduating in the spring of 2022. Now, I will say that both programs were very rigorous. Um, so I do not <laughs> see a difference in like if one of the styles is easier than the other. Grad school across the board is rigorous and you want to make sure that you are committed to this journey. Now, let's start with my pros about an online school. Specifically, well, I went to Capella, so I can only speak for um, my online journey with Capella. But I do think that a lot of the online programs are very similar. So what I really liked about the online program was it allowed me the flexibility to pursue my master's while I was on active duty. And when I was on active duty at the time, I was working in a hospital. So I had a very hectic work schedule that was not a traditional Monday through Friday. So I was not able to try to find a program that I could go to during the nighttime or on the weekends. That is what originally led me to online schools. Um, and it was very great, the flexibility, you know, it was maintained throughout my entire program. And I really did like it. Um, all the classes that I ever wanted to take, they were offered consistently. And also the advisors at the school, the advisors, you know, like I was on track all the time. There was never a time that I felt like I didn't know what classes I needed or like I just didn't know, you know, what was next. I always had my competency map. I always had my, um, the catalog, course catalog and Capella did a great job of auto registering you as well. So I really, really, really like that. Now the course load was, I would say it was pretty good. Um, typically assignments were due every Sunday by 11.59. Um, it was a lot of reading and it was really a lot of feeling like I'm teaching myself. That would be my number one con about a fully online program is that it felt like sometimes I was just out there in the void <laughs> teaching myself like, now, um, my master's program did have what we call residencies. They were seven days and they were face-to-face -face residencies. So you really got that experience of being in the classroom with other people that are in your program. We did a lot of actually implementing, you know, therapy styles, mock therapy sessions and things like that so that you got comfortable. I did enjoy that. Now that would bring me to the second con. Baby, those residencies can get quite expensive. <laughs> they are seven days in different locations each time. Um, but to cut costs, you can have a roommate or you can have two roommates. Um, you can try to like pack things to cut down on the cost of your meals and just find ways to like save money. But yes. The residencies are seven days. And so number one, that's seven days off work that you have to take off. And number two, that's seven days worth of you paying for your, I think like 
breakfast and we paid for our dinners as well lunch was provided every day but if you didn't want to eat what they were serving for lunch yes so well hun <laughs> so but overall i really 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 thoroughly enjoyed the online program at capella university for my master's in clinical psych the program aligned me and prepared me to be able to apply for licensure down the line to be a licensed professional counselor that is what that program will al align you to do and yes i had a an internship in that program that i'll discuss in another video now on to my mba program through mercer university going back to a traditional school after being in an online school definitely was an adjustment but i will say that i have appreciated the adjustment my background is in psychology however i really wanted to become a better businesswoman. I've always desired to pursue an MBA because I've always been an entrepreneur, but I didn't really excel in the business aspects of my businesses before. So what better way to get better than by adding to your education? So the number one pro that I will say is the teachers the faculty oh my goodness they are so amazing man i can't say that enough it that is such a big difference i don't exactly i don't know <laughs> i don't i can't put my finger on why or where the difference like ugh, but i love it i love being able to have teachers that are really hitting the mark when it comes to how i learn so that is the number one pro number two is obviously being in classroom makes a difference for my learning style i learn very well when someone is lecturing and I'm physically present versus if they are lecturing and I am watching via a video. That's just me. And hey, it is what it is. You have to know your strengths and your growth areas and lean into your strengths. <laughs> so the in-person aspect of the program, I absolutely adore. One con is that this program is an accelerated program. So where you would have a 16 week semester is split in two. So you have like for fall semester, we have fall one and fall two. So those are eight week sessions and baby girl, you have no time to slip. Okay, <laughs> listen. You hear me? You blink, you blink too long, and oh my goodness, you've already. Whew, whew. But it is okay. That was the biggest adjustment for me coming from um now at Capella. We did 10 weeks at, uh 10 week quarters, but it's just something about those two weeks being gone that's man. Whew. That SpongeBob meme, like where he be, <gasps> baby, that's me. <laughs> but it's nothing that you cannot get adjusted to. Um, the second con, I would just say, I don't have one. I'm sorry. I like traditional programs. And I also really like online programs. And I also like hybrid programs as well. That is kind of one part of Capella, not Capella, that is one part of my MBA program that I got to kind of tiptoe in as well um, was hybrid classes. So that is definitely a wave that a lot of traditional brick and mortar schools are going towards to kind of 
get some of those online students. Um, so in one of my courses, we had people that were in class as well as people that were online as well. And I thought that that was very cool because the people online, they participated as well. Um, and it was just really different. And I really, 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 really liked that aspect. So I hope that this video kind of gives you a little bit of, you know, seeing like what traditional brick and mortar schools are like versus an online school. And yeah, let me know down in the comments which you prefer. Do you prefer going to a regular traditional school or do you like online schools? Ooh, and before we end, let me say this as well. Another con about some online schools is a lot of them are for profits, so they are more expensive. Now, they do have like these scholarships and things like that um, to kind of cut, you know, $10,000 or up to like $20,000. I know for like doctoral programs, they offer up to $20,000 to cut costs, but it's still, you know, it's a little bit more pricey because a lot of them again are um for-profit universities versus non-profit um schools and universities is gonna be a little bit less expensive but you know education definitely is a return on investment that's why it is imperative to research 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 your program and do your due diligence so I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. I'm done for real this time. Um, yeah. If you like this video, thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you are not. And yeah. Tune into the next video. Until then, though, be easy, take care, and I love you all so much. Thank you. Bye.